Hey guys, Wild Kyle here. I hope everybody is having a fantastic day today. So today's video is going to be a little bit different from the usual video, but please be sure to stick around to the end because I am going to show you guys some of my collection, which I know you have been asking for a long time. But the main point of today's video is to say thank you. Thank you to each and every single one of you who have subscribed and watched the videos and helped me reach over 10,000 subscribers in just over a year on YouTube. I didn't think that was possible and it's absolutely amazing to be at this point and it wouldn't be possible without all of you watching and commenting on the videos. It seriously means the world to me. So we're just gonna keep going up from here guys. 2020 I feel like is going to be an amazing year and my plan is to hopefully double the amount of subscribers. So please keep doing what you're doing, watching the videos and commenting, it really, really does make a big difference. So now I've been doing these videos for a while and a lot of you have been around since the beginning. That seriously means a lot to me. And it's been really cool interacting with you all on the comments and on the community tab here on YouTube and getting to know you and you guys getting to know me as well. So part of today's video, I do wanna talk a little bit more about myself and what I have going on so that you guys are aware of all that. This stuff started for me a long time ago. My dad and my grandfather would take me looking for arrowheads and fossils and all kinds of cool stuff when I was very, very little. So I actually have the very first arrowhead I ever found, which is right here. So this is the very first arrowhead I ever found in a field in Georgia a long time ago. I had to have been six or seven years old or so. And I remember that being a defining moment for me. I found it and I was completely amazed that stuff like that even existed. And ever since then, I've been completely obsessed with finding treasure and finding cool stuff. And now I get to share it with other people as well, which has been really amazing. My other passion that I love just as much as all of this stuff is songwriting and singing and performing music for people. So that's actually a huge part of my income. I make very, very little on YouTube and I don't have a real job at the moment. So music is my main source of income at the moment. And I do wanna share it more with you guys. So there will be links in the description below to where you can follow me and listen to my music as well. I write music for the same reason I like to search for old lost things. It's because it tells a story. When you find a fossil or an artifact or a bottle, there's a story behind it. And that's what I like to do through songwriting. I like to tell a story that people can connect to and hopefully they can feel like it's a part of their story. And then, you know, you have this connection that is really kind of hard to find elsewhere. And music uh, has a really, really good way of doing that and a really good way of getting points across. And so I, I really enjoy the aesthetic of getting out in front of people and performing music for them and just writing songs about the human experience and things that we all go through. So I hope that you guys will take the time to check out some of that as well, as it is very important to me. If you don't want to, that's totally fine. Um, I would describe the music as folk or Americana music, as they call it, which would be like a combination of country, folk, and blues music. Uh, so it's really kind of centered around that. So enough about that. I want to show you guys a little bit of my collection, like I promised now, and you guys have been asking for it for a very long time. I'm really excited to show you. It's all right here behind me, so let's take a look. All right, my friends, it has gotten dark on me, but that's okay because I have a light to attach to the camera and we are about to take a look at some fossils and treasures and all kinds of cool stuff. And of course, we are going to start with this absolutely beautiful image of Duckman that my friend Bree drew. She did an absolutely amazing job. So of course, that was gonna go on my little fossil table because that is a beautiful thing. So let's take a look at some of this other stuff. Right here is a case of some three-toed horse fossils. These are actually one of my favorite types of fossils to find very, very early horses. Those little teeth right there are from adult horses. So way different from today's horses and they are just such cool things to find. And I got a ton of ankle bones and toe bones and stuff and even an incisor, so a front tooth in there as well. I got this piece of agatized coral in a video quite a while back when I was still recording with a phone actually. And uh, man, that is such a, such a cool piece. It's got this weird little window right down there. Right here is a giant ground sloth claw. And the way this one was found was kind of crazy because I was actually scuba diving in a deep hole. I was with my dad and my dad was snorkeling. I was about 11 or 12 feet deep. And my dad's just kind of going up and down, and he picks this up, 
brings it over to me and makes a gesture like I don't know what this is and I'm like going crazy blowing bubbles and stuff and uh, yeah it is a giant ground sloth claw I went up immediately and I was very very jealous but he was kind enough to give it to me so now I have this super awesome giant ground sloth claw I have a partial rhino tooth the only big piece of one I have ever found unfortunately not complete these are pretty dang rare and yeah rhinos were native to Florida this right here is a very very nice fossilized whelk shell with calcite crystals growing all inside of it I'm in love with these things it's such a such a unique piece and then I have another one that my buddy Derek traded to me for a very nice mako shark tooth that I had that he really liked and I love this piece a lot, so huge thanks to my buddy Derek. I found this mammoth tooth, juvenile mammoth tooth, on my birthday a few years ago. I always try to make an effort to go fossil hunting on my birthday, and it was getting close to the end of the day, and I hadn't found anything super nice. I was kind of worried, and I was like, no, I got I to gotta keep trying. It was getting close to dark, but I went back and fanned a little bit more while snorkeling, and out rolls this beautifully preserved juvenile mammoth tooth. I got some trilobite pieces from a trilobite video I did a while back. Probably the oldest fossils I have ever found, around 500 million years old from the Cambrian. So that stuff just blows me away. I got some amethyst crystals from a while back. That's a cool little one right there as well. Got a beautiful tapir jaw right here with two teeth in it. I have my absolute baby right here, this dire wolf tooth. Let's pop that out of the case and take a close look at it. And there she is, the dire wolf tooth. One of my favorite fossils I've ever found to date. It is pretty much perfect and amazingly, amazingly preserved. Right here is one of my other favorite types of fossils to find. This is a copper light or fossil poop. Hello? Duckman! Get out of here, Duckman! Get 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 out get away from my fossils! Alright, Duckman's gone now. Just trying to sneak in here and get my stuff, like always. But now, some of my megalodon teeth. I'm sure you guys remember this one from a video a while back where I completely lost my mind because it was the biggest tooth I had ever found at that point. Uh, oh. oh no! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh no. Dude, look, I'm shaking. I'm shaking so hard. And it is a beast, and I love it very much. I got this guy shortly after that one, actually. And the color on this one is just incredible. Look at that big blue splotch right there. And all this stuff right here is actually feeding damage, so. This is stuff from when the shark had bitten to probably a dugong or something like that and injured his tooth, and it's kind of cool. It tells a story. And then, I'm sure you guys remember this one as well. This tooth right here was in the video that got shared on Unilad, that one kind of like viral video page, and there was just hundreds and hundreds of comments of people telling me I printed it on a 3D printer and put it in the creek for likes and views. No, that definitely didn't happen. <laughs> it was it was actually found. I don't have those kind of skills to print this on a 3D printer. So that's my baby right there. I think Duckman's a little bit upset that I yelled at him earlier. I'm sorry, buddy, but you always trying to take my fossils, and I'm not cool with that. These are a couple little points that I actually found in Michigan while visiting my mom quite a few years ago. I think I was probably 13 or 14 at the time and I decided to walk the field behind where she was living at the time and I found those two. From a trip a while back with my dad we went to South Carolina to the Edisto River and I found this really cool Angus Tiden shark tooth right there. This is another little Angus Tiden shark tooth actually from the Suwannee River here in Florida. And right here is a little Rick or Colatus, the Eocene ancestor to the Megalodon. So this is more around 38 to 50 million years old or so. This is the nicest bald eagle claw core I have ever found. 
Here's some more trilobites there. Nice little great white shark tooth and a nice mako. Here's a cool little bull shark tooth. Still stuck to some shell matrix. Which I was very happy with that. Here's a megalodon tooth from quite a while back. Really, really gorgeous color and un some unfortunate chipping right there. These little guys, awesome. Little orange megalodon tooth. One of my favorite shark teeth I've ever found. This is a little newborn megalodon shark tooth, believe it or not. Megalodon shark teeth do not start out the size of a hand. They, they got to grow up too. So this is a little pup, a little baby megalodon. Here's one of my favorite agatized coral geodes that I have found. Didn't even have to cut that one because it just split on its own when I found it like that. There's the other side of it, and it's got a really cool color. I was very happy with that. Got these weird pieces right here that I actually just found walking dirt roads for shells and shark teeth and stuff. And these were sitting on the dirt road, and they're kind of heavy little pieces, and they maybe came from some sort of decorative furniture. These are the Uper lights. Those are what they look like without the UV light on them. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That. Right here, I got a very cool big mastodon tooth, a little bit beat up. But the way this one was found was pretty funny because I was in the boat with Chris and Ashley and we jumped out of the boat at one spot and I took like three or four steps forward and this was sitting in knee deep water just staring up at me. The water was pretty clear that day and it was just sitting there. Also, I couldn't resist showing you guys this right here. This is what I call my crown of strings. This is years and years of my guitar strings from probably about 16 or 17 till now. I'm 26. I have this weird thing where I get attached to the strings because I play fun shows or write songs with them and so they end up kind of meaning something to me. I feel like there's a story in all of them so I said you know what I'm just gonna make a big cool like wreath crown thing out of them and just kind of been twisting them all together and I'm gonna keep on doing it. This is one of my favorite bottles I've ever found. Miss Winslow's Soothing Syrup, Curtis and Perkins Proprietors. Found that years ago before I started YouTube. But it's actually a teething medicine for babies with the main ingredients of morphine and alcohol. So, yeah, pretty weird there. <laughs> one of my favorite Coke bottles also found quite a few years ago. I was just looking for fossils and came across it. And it's a Live Oak, Florida Coca-Cola bottling company live oak straight side pre-1915 coke one recently that you guys saw gainesville coca-cola bottling company unfortunate crack down there but it's intact otherwise so very cool find this right here my very first hutchinson bottle i completely lost my mind finding this as you guys heard in the video if you did not see that, it is my, one of my recent videos, and I love that bottle. Down here, here's a cool poison bottle that I found recently, and a couple cool little shoe polishes. I love the blue glass on those. So right here is a milk bottle that I found in a video a while back while I was fossil hunting. Wasn't even looking for bottles hard at the time. It's Electro Pure Foremost, and that... Tell me that doesn't look like the Facebook logo, right? I was very happy with this bottle as well. It'll tickle your innards. It's got this hillbilly dude on there. I think that's a really cool bottle. I haven't gone metal detecting in a long time, but here are some really cool metal detecting finds. There are some harmonica reeds, which is awesome because I love to play the harmonica. A little keyhole, a weird little dog that I didn't even find metal detecting. I was just walking around and found that, and it's found this actually in a creek good for five cents in trade it says mcleod and son on the back druggists it's got a little hole punched in there i think they would punch a hole after it was used i found this big old shell on my birthday in 2016 i want to say it was i recently traded my buddy derek a piece of a mammoth tooth for this really really cool calcite piece with shell matrix and this is one of a couple huge whale vertebrae that Chris and I found in a creek quite a few years ago before YouTube. Here I have boxes of 
shells and other fossils and boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes and I'm not gonna go through everything because this video would be like two hours long so it's in there though there's cool stuff but all the really cool stuff is over there so don't forget that when owning fossils one must take care of the fossils and one of the best ways to take care of fossils is to give a little kiss and rub it on your face here's some glyptodont scoots I absolutely love those fossils they are fossil cookies but I wouldn't advise eating them and they're not really fossil cookies they're from a giant armadillo type animal but you know what I'm saying right here is a piece of turtle shell where it got bit by something right there probably an alligator and then right there it healed so this little guy survived his attack. Here's a cool agatized coral geode, but right here is an even cooler agatized coral geode right there. And there's the other half of it right there. And if you put them like this, they make a little little evil face with the eyes and the big mouth and he's laughing. At least that's what I imagine. I, I don't know guys, I'm weird. I'm, I'm done. Right here's my big chunk of black tourmaline and quartz that I found at Hog Mine up in Georgia. Look at that stuff. Time to take a look at some pointy, pointy rocks. So all my pointy rocks were found on private property, either in private creeks or on farm fields and things like that. This is a beautiful point that I found in a creek long ago, and I am in love with it. Found this little guy in the same creek as that last one. Beautiful, beautiful color right there. And this one came out of the same creek as well. There's a farm field where I grew up in Georgia that I used to walk fairly often when I lived there. And I still go up from time to time when I go visit my dad and stuff like that. And if conditions are right, I'll walk. But these are some really cool points that came from that field. This is my little box of some strange things from that field in Georgia. A lot of little scrapers and stuff, and a lot of like reworked points that were made into little tools, like that. I think that stuff's really cool. Here's a weird little scraper. Look how worked it is on those edges. That's a little point. That doesn't belong in there. That belongs elsewhere. But that's pretty cool, too. I remember my dad found that one on a day that we found like four in one day. So check some of this stuff out. This is stuff that was sent to me by my real good friend Rick. He is a huge, huge supporter of my channel. And so I want to take a moment right now to just give a big shout out to him for, for all the support and all the help that he's given me. Rick's been uh, just such an amazing guy. And he's sent me some really, really cool stuff, like these little buttons and bullets and Civil War era artifacts that he's found metal detecting. And these are just some really cool things. And I should have a cool display case soon for these. Rick also sent me this really awesome Spanish coin. And... Man, that's just so cool. I was so happy to add that to my collection. So once again, a huge thanks to Rick for all this amazing stuff. keep this well probably because it's just weird as heck and i like weird stuff mm. <laughs> here it is y'all saved the best for last right there a very rare baby paleocene epic around 65 million years old a lot of people really want this but i don't think i'd ever sell it i think it's too cool well, there it was, guys. All my favorite stuff in my collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I think 2020 is going to be an amazing year, and I'll find all kinds of cool stuff to add to the collection here. I'll be making all kinds of awesome videos to share with you guys, and I'm very, very excited for that. So thank you guys for hanging in there and sticking around. 2020 is going to be great. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite piece that you saw today. I'll see you in the next video.